Hi everyone, it's Tammy Masterbrody with Elevated Existence and in this video I am going to be sharing with you how you can handle the difficult people in your life, the relationships that you struggle with, that you want to improve, or that are just driving you crazy. I'm going to share it now. Okay, so we all have people in our lives that we may deem difficult. It could be a boss. I've had some of those. It could be coworkers. I've had some of those. It could be family members. It could be your significant other. It could be your children. It could be friendships. We all have relationships that tend to be difficult or that go through a difficult patch. And in some cases, we can't end them, right? So you can't, unless you're leaving your job, right? And even if you're looking to leave the job, you're still at the job. So you have to handle your boss. You have to figure out how to deal with coworkers. You have to deal with family members for the most part. Um, and if you're with a significant other that you love, but you're just going through a difficult patch, you would like to improve that. Same thing with your children and same thing with some friendships, right? Not to say that there aren't relationships that are difficult always if there's an abusive situation or anything that you know is is not right. We don't know. I don't condone. Nobody condones sort of supporting that and, and dealing with that, right? However, if you're just going through a rough patch with somebody, it could be a neighbor that's driving you insane, right? I'm lucky where I live right now, we're back off the street and our neighbors are closer to the street, so we don't really have neighbor problems, but many people do. So if you are dealing with this in some situation, are you not speaking to one of your children? Are you having issues and fighting with them all the time? There is a simple easy way for you to help the relationship without having to um, sort of get them involved, right? You don't even have to go to therapy. Again, not to say that therapy isn't necessary at times, but I'm just talking about how can I handle a difficult relationship. I'm in this situation and I don't, I don't know what to do. I literally don't know what more to do. Very simple. Actually, there's two things I'm going to share with you. The first one, and if you know anything about me and you've been following my videos, you know that I call in elevated help. However, there are specific people that I will call in that help with relationships or that help heal misunderstandings or that are sort of my go-tos when I'm when either I'm dealing with a difficult relationship or maybe I have someone in my life that has... Um, come to me and said, oh my gosh, I'm going through this. What can I do? So here's what you do. You are going to call in and ask for help. And you can do this on a daily basis until you start seeing the relationship improve in some way. Or maybe sometimes the improvement of that relationship means it dissolves away. But this is who you're going to call in. Number one, you're going to call in Archangel Chamuel or Shamuel, depending on how you want to pronounce it. Um, Archangel Shamuel is really the angel to call in, not only if you want to bring in new friendships or love, but also if you want to uh, heal a relationship that seems broken in some way, or if you and another person had a misunderstanding of some sort, Archangel Shamuel, you can call in and say, please help me heal this relationship. Please help me open up to my part in this. And please help this other person to open up to their part in this. Please help our, and, and help our higher selves help us and recognize what needs to be done in order to heal this. I am open to what I need to do. Please help the other person open up to what they need to do as well. I'm open to anything that you have to offer or or any advice or any signs that you're going to send me on what maybe I can do. And those signs include a thought that might just come to you. The other archangel that I want you to call in is Archangel Raguel, R-A-G-U-E-L, I think, am I spelling that right? Um, and he, again, is known for healing arguments. So... If you've had an argument with someone in your family, with a coworker, with anyone, you want to call in Archangel Raguel, and he also works to sort of bring harmony back, right? So not only heal arguments, but to bring harmony back and bring things back into balance in a relationship. 
The third person I like to call in, and I call in for many, many different things, but I also like to call in for relationship help, is Ganesha. So, as many of you know, Ganesha is the Hindu goddess of, I'm sorry, Hindu god, he's known with the elephant head, of removing obstacles. So, any place in your life where you would like some obstacles removed so that things get a little easier, Ganesha is great to call in. However, I love to call him in for relationships because you want to help remove or heal any obstacles to repairing that relationship. So that's the third person that I like to call in. And just basically, I call them all in at once and just say, please help me, please help this other person, help help me know what to do, help them to also open up to their part in this. I need a miracle. I would like to heal this. You know, I'm open to your signs and synchronicity. Please let us know what to do. The second thing that I like to do for this is if it's one specific person. So let's say uh, it's your son or your daughter, just as an example. The other thing that you can do to improve the relationship, and again, all of this is has nothing to do with the other person, right? Because you are in control of you. So I'm giving you things that you can do on your end to improve and, and handle difficult people or improve a relationship. What you would do is you get a picture of that person. It could be on your phone. It could be a physical picture. And three times a day, you can set an alarm on your phone. Three times a day, you're going to get their picture. You are going to look at their picture. And you are going to say whatever their name is. So let's just say it's Tammy. You're going to say, Tammy, I am so grateful for X, Y, and Z. And have it be about something they did. I am so grateful that you made me a mother, if we're dealing with a child. I am so grateful that you made me those cute ornaments for, uh, for, the, for the holiday tree when you were younger. I am so grateful for the, that time that you brought me soup when I was sick. Whatever it might be, you're going to look at that picture and you're going to say to them, whatever it might be, you're going to look at that picture and you are going to say to them their name. I am so grateful for three different things and feel the gratitude. I want you to do this three times a day for three days, four days, five days, whatever feels good to you and see what happens. I've had people do this where they were not speaking to someone and all of a sudden that person reaches out to them. It's amazing. So again, it's all on you. It's not like you have to have the other person do anything. If it's your boss, you can do it. If it's your, you know, you can just say thank you for my weekly paycheck. I'm so grateful that I have this job. I'm so grateful that you let me have flexible hours. Whatever it might be, you have to try and find things that you are grateful for and look at that picture, address them by name and say it. This will initiate healing. And the other person will feel it even though they're not in your presence because we are all connected. So those are some some of my tips for healing relationships, for dealing or handling with, you know, dealing with difficult people because we all have them in our life and sometimes we're at a loss and we just don't know what to do. And we always play a part in some way, right? So we're asking for the help in seeing what we can do as well as asking for the help for them to see their part as well and for them to be open to improving things as well as you to be open to improving things. So you're going to ask for help. You're going to call in those three people, Shamuel, Raguel, and Ganesha, and you are going to try the picture exercise. Do these. Let me know what happens. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you're struggling with or you know, what have you done? Have you tried any of these things before? And if you do try them, definitely come back and comment below and let us know how it went. Let me know how it went. Um, if you like this video, subscribe to my channel, leave a comment and say hello, and I will see you next time. Good luck in healing your relationships.